Hello and welcome back to another weekly workshop video. We're going to be diving right back into the Team Fortress 2 Steam Community Workshop. I've got a great lineup for today and I'm excited to hop right into it. We're going to start out with a really cool hat. This one is called the Dive Bomber. This is going to be multi-class, so it's going to be able to be used on the Soldier and the Demo Man. And it's like this really cool pilot helmet, basically. I really like the model. It's very, very detailed and it looks great on both classes. And I think both classes have really good sets that you can make out of it. They got a couple examples here. Looks really nice on this Demo Man loadout and I really like the Soldier as well. The paint region, super big, super noticeable, very well done with the paint region. I like how that looks. It's kind of a simple entry. There's not a whole lot for me to talk about. It is just a good solid hat. Very, very cool. Next up here, I have a really cool unusual effect. The purple one is Galactic Guidance and the green one is Viridescent Flow. Uh, they do have a video that goes with this, so I'm going to show it off in a bit of a better render. And look at how cool this is. I, I love how it rises up like smoke. It's very hypnotic to watch. It's very, very cool. I like the slight sparkle around the head. Uh, I think this would be very, very good for Scream Fortress. This is a very, very good Halloween effect. I really like this. I think it's super unique. There's not really anything like this in the game right now. And I would love to see it get in this Scream Fortress. This is very cool. All right, we're going to have to put our hazmat suits on for this one. This is the radioactive war paint. And as you can see here, it has a custom wear. And in higher wares, it's going to have a whole bunch of this green nuclear waste, which I think is a really, really cool idea. But if you're not a fan of that, in Factory New, it is super, super clean, nice black and yellow. I really love how that looks in Factory New personally. They also have this awesome detail where if you get lucky and you get a good roll, you can have the rare biohazard sticker instead of the normal radioactive sticker. And I love it when war paints do stuff like this because for a collector, you love to see something rare that not many people have, something kind of obscure. And for me, I think that's really, really neat. They do also have some in-game screenshots and it looks really, really nice. They also have a demo video. Uh, oh no, oh. <laughs> it's a, the radioactive waste, it's leaked too much, oops. Will it work now? Okay, it's working now. Uh, <laughs> we, we sorted it out, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, this is, of course, a very high wear one. This is going to be like battle scarred, but it looks insane. I really, really like the concept here, and it's well executed. It looks really, really good. I like this a lot. I'm a big fan. Speaking of biohazards, the next thing we have here is a misc for the soldier called the Little Man. This is going to be a big bomb backpack cosmetic for the soldier, and the one detail I really like is that it has this little button for the grenade slot. And of course, when he does a taunt with the grenades, he throws the controls for this massive nuclear bomb in the air. And I just thought it was really, really funny. There are a couple sets that they're showing off for. It looks really good. It's going to be good for like a pilot bomber kind of loadout. Um, I, I think it would kind of be a cool pair with the lucky shot as well. I think that would look pretty cool. I don't think it's paintable, but it doesn't really need paint. It's going to match soldier stock pretty well. And it's, it's a really cool idea. I just love the little button, the fact that he's going to throw it around and stuff when he taunts. That's what sold it for me. I thought that was really, really funny. Uh, this is a cool cosmetic. I like it. Next up is something absolutely themed for summertime. This is the deep sea rave taunt unusual effect. And I'm just going to let this play. I, I want you to analyze <laughs> what you're seeing here. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely love this. If you get this on a dancing taunt, like the Carlton, the Conga, this is an absolute banger. I love this. This is such a cool idea for a taunt, and I like how it's executed. I think it looks really good. You got the little bits of seaweed, you got the sand, the starfish, you got the bubbles. Very, very detailed for a big effect like this, and I like that. I think it's very, very cool. And honestly, I'll take any excuse to have more spy crab items in the game. I absolutely adore spy crabs. So much so that I bought the in real life plushie. Yes, I, I do actually own one. It's on my bed right now. <laughs> Guys, please. He's forcing me to put this into the video. He has my family. Next up here is the brand loyalist. And this is going to be like the mandatory attire, but in hat form. Every single class has their own version of this hat. And I think it's really, really cool. I specifically love the uh, soldier one the pyro one, and I think the medic one is really funny with the uber charge U on it. I think that's pretty cute. It's a very, very creative cosmetic, and I do think there are some cool sets you can do with it. 
Uh, some of them are team colored because some of them are kind of like, you know, brown, green, but some of them are going to require a little bit of team coloring and they look really, really nice on blue team. I really like the pyro one. I think that looks amazing. Uh, they are showing off a couple sets with them. That looks insane. Uh, let's see. Ooh, the tourist heavy. I didn't even think about that. That's actually really cool. I dig that. That is nice. You have like a, um, construction worker engineer. He's like working at a factory or something. That's cool. Uh, and then we, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> I don't like that image. It's scary. <laughs> uh, jokes aside, this is a really, really cool hat. I, I love it when they go through the effort to make a custom style for every class. I like cosmetics that do that. I think that's really, really cool. Opens up a bunch of cool sets that you can make. And it's kind of like nine cosmetics for the price of one. It's very, very cool. Okay, before I even dive into this one, can I just say how amazing this SFM is? Like, whoever made this, hats off to you, dude. This looks incredible. But this is the Ursa Major, and the actual cosmetic is just as cool as the SFM. Look at this. It's a whole big uh, jacket cosmetic for the heavy. It's got some, like, uh, almost scoutish hand wraps, so I think... You could probably do some Fat Scout memes with it. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and it paints like the sleeves and then the bottom there, which isn't too bad because the whole thing is team colored anyway for the most part. So I think that's a pretty okay paint region. Uh, they have some sets over here and it looks really, really good actually. I like the one in the middle there. Very, very clean cosmetic. I think this would be good for a lot of different themes. I think you could do like a military heavy. You could do like a cool heavy. You could do a fat scout. You could do a biker. There's a lot of opportunity with this cosmetic, and I like that. I think that's very, very cool. This was submitted yesterday at the time of recording this, by the way, and that is insane to me. Whoever did this, uh, Big Bob, you're insane, dude. <laughs> this is awesome. I really like this. We're going to follow that up with another amazing unusual effect. This one is called Comic Combat. And this is a really cool concept for an unusual effect. Check this out. It's going to be like a comic panel. You got the sound effects coming out. And I like the animation on them. It's not static. They're not just coming out like they're rotating. They're shaking. It's all loud and crazy looking. I really, really like that attention to detail. This looks amazing. This is such a well executed idea. And it's such a good idea. I really like this. I think this has a very solid shot of getting in this summer because I think this is kind of like an out of the box effect that is really good for summertime. I think this is cool. I like this a lot. I'm going to be honest. This might be one of my favorite war paints that I've seen in a long time. And I know it's scout time. It's not blue. How can you be biased? Normally you only choose <laughs> blue things to be incredibly biased about. But look at how cool this is. This is the photo finished Mark II war paint. And as you can see here, they do have custom blood textures. And for every single roll, there's a unique number. I believe it's like 0 to 99 or 1 to 99, something like that. But that is just a cool detail that has never been on a skin before for collectors. And I love that. You see, this one is 96. And even besides that, the paint looks amazing. I actually wish I could see more in-game screenshots. I wish I could see it on the fish because... This is really cool. I love how the colors all jive together. This is a nice war paint. This is very, very cool. I mean, I know for a fact I could use this on a couple of my classes and it would look really, really good. And you already know, uh, the, the uh, one in 169 rolls are gonna be very valuable. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this one. This is a great idea and it's really well executed. I just, I don't know what else to say. I am a big, big fan of this. Now, this is really interesting. This is a hat for the spy called the Missing Man. Looks really, really nice. I like the model on it. The paint region is good. Uh, really, not too much to say, but it looks amazing. But where my attention comes from is the other style, the Lost style, which we can see over here if we teleport to the Lost style page. Check this out. We forgot to install Source. <laughs> I really like this, and you might think, oh, that's kind of, that kind of breaks the game's art style. That's a, that's a little much scout time. It's just a normal checker hat. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Jokes aside, I think this looks really, really nice. I like kind of, uh, they, they forced a meme in there. It's very, very funny. But if you don't want the meme, you can have a genuinely good plaid hat. I think that's nice. Like, um, I mean, this set, I actually really like that. I like the checkers with the stripes. That's pretty cool. 
but you can do all kinds of stuff like this and it's just I think it makes the hat a lot more lively for me personally I just like it a little bit more with the lost style but both hats are very very well made I really like these I think these are cool but that concludes this week's workshop video as you already know we got to end it by paying a visit to our dear old friend the Sunday vest check it out vote for it give it awards please because the famous youtuber told you so i can't even say that with a straight face <laughs> that is the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching please make sure to support all of the artists that i have featured in this video all of the links to the workshop pages are down below and i'll be back next week with another amazing lineup of really cool workshop items so be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see that and i will see you in the next one Bring